Hello friends and welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I am going to show you how we can verify the truth table of IC74138 which is an 3 to 8 line decoder. So let's start with the simulation. Go to the logic tab and under the logic, you go to the IC74 and under the 7410 to 7199 series, select the IC74138 which is an 3 to 8 line decoder. So just drag it to your workspace. Now this IC is having active low outputs. The meaning is whenever the output line is active, it will generate zero uh, while all the inactive outputs will be at high. So to provide the inputs this time, instead of using the sources as usual, I'll use a DIP switch and then I'll use a fixed voltage source to connect this DIP switch so that we can provide the inputs as per our need to the circuit or to the IC. Now out of this 8 bit or 8 pin DIP switch we need only 6 so I'll use only those six inputs which are connected to VCC and then by modifying the switch or by modifying the input switches we can control the signals A0, A1, A2 as well as E1 bar, E2 bar and E3 bar. Basically these are the signals that we are used to enable our chip IC74138. So E1 bar, E2 bar and E3 bar or oh sorry E3 are the pins that were used to enable the IC whereas A0 and A0, A1, A2 these are the lines which are used to activate the outputs accordingly. So let us connect them to the inputs and connect A0, A1 and A2 also. Now for observing the output instead of using a single LED we'll use an LED bar so just drag it to the workspace and connect so instead of using individual LEDs we will, we will use an LED bar this time so that we can observe all the eight inputs at the same time remember we can use individual LEDs also and connect them in this fashion or you can use an LED bar now modify the properties of this LED bar and the properties that I'm going to modify is the grounding so this time this particular LED bar is grounded so modify this particular parameter value to true and then I'll change the color from yellow to say green and save this so the benefit of this is you won't need any ground and there is no need to connect all the outputs of these 8 or other LED bar to the ground. So it will internally get grounded. So the moment you apply one on this line, the LED will glow and when the input is zero, the LED will remain off. There is no need of ground signal here. Now once the circuit is connected, save it to your PC. So I'll use the name uh, decoder save. So being an already existing project with the same name, I have overwritten it. Now start the simulation. Now just make the inputs zero. All the inputs are zero. Now connect the DIP switch to VCC. And now we can control what input appears at your A0 to A2 line and E1, E2, E3. So remember E1 bar, E2 bar and E3, this is the sequence that we need. The flickering of this LED bar is obvious because of the refresh rate of our PC as well as the limitation of this uh, tool, Simul IDE, which is a good tool for the basic simulation of electronic circuits. Now let's check by making it 1 and E3 1. So remember this is not a valid input combination. The chip is disabled. So even if you apply 
the inputs at a0 a1 and a2 nothing will happen or no change will be observed at the output the moment you connect this e1 e2 to 0 0 and e3 to 1 you can now observe the output that q0 is 0 all the other pins are high okay. basically in the beginning we have modified the properties of this led bar and the on leds will emit green color light the only led which is off is this q0 the reason is a0 a1 and a2 are 0 0 0 and thus q0 line is active now being an active low output the led will remain off while all the remaining leds which are connected to a q1 to q7 will turn on now if i change the input combination from 0 0 0 to 0 0 1 then instead of q0 the q1 led turns off while all other leds are on similarly if you go to the 0 1 1 now q3 will turn on and if i make it 1 1 1 q7 is active while q0 to q6 are inactive so the only line which is active at this moment is q7 because we have 1 1 1 at the input line whereas e1 bar e2 bar and e3 these are the signals that we use to control our chip so if none if any of the signal is uh, invalid you won't get anything at the output so even if the input is 1 1 1 q7 is not getting selected because the chip is not active the moment you fulfill the input requirements for this the chip will start working okay so this is how we can verify the truth table of ic 74138 which is an 3 to 8 decoder so thank you for watching the video please subscribe like and feel free to share it with your friends thank you